Hi, my name is Richard Knight. I'm one of the course tutors and mentors for the Foundation course. I'd just like to give you a brief overview of what you can expect if you attended the TSG Foundation course. First of all, a bit of background about the course itself. If you're into testing, it's probably regarded, if you like, as the basic requirement to be seen as credible in the industry. The Foundation course, as it says, gives you a firm foundation on which to build your testing career. So how do you acquire this qualification? Well, you can do self-study, or you can actually attend a, what we call a tutor-led course. With a tutor-led course, you have an opportunity to ask questions and experience, if you like, exam-style questions. So what about the background to the course? As it says, it's an international qualification. There are different national testing boards which contribute to the syllabus. Hence, it's very relevant to today's organisations and their testing needs. So, first of all, as a prerequisite, you should be considering of downloading the syllabus. The syllabus contains the core information which you need to understand. So download the syllabus from, say, the BCS website or the UK Testing Board website to give you a starting point. This is very useful pre-reading and you can then hit the ground running when you attend the course. The course itself typically lasts two and a half days, with the exam being taken on the third day at three o'clock in the afternoon. So, what do I need to do before attending the course? It's a wise investment to read the syllabus first of all. Start to study, if you like, the key areas. What do you already know and what do you need to know to actually come up to speed? Sessions typically will go from 9 o'clock in the morning to 5 o'clock in the evening and they're highly interactive with many students posing questions about what's the relevance of this topic to my day job and how can I apply this when I get back to the workplace. We cover a number of areas. The syllabus is divided into six chapters. The six chapters covering, first of all, what is testing and why do we do testing. We talk about the fundamental test process and we talk about different life cycle models. We also spend some of the time doing reviews. What is a review? What is a walkthrough? What is an inspection? And what are the relevance of these techniques adopted early on in the life cycle? They can save the company a considerable amount of money. So we're investing in doing the right review at the right time. Moving on, the actual core of the course is Chapter 4. This is all about the different test techniques us as testers can deploy, whether it's black box testing or white box testing, whether we're doing boundary value analysis, exploratory testing, or right down looking inside the components if it's critical structure. Moving forward, we spend some time doing the test management aspects. What's a policy? What's a strategy? What's in a test plan? And how do we write the most appropriate weekly test report? What are the key metrics we should contain in that report? We'll also cover interesting topics like risk management. We can't test everything, so we need to be focused on the risks related to the product. We also should understand incident management and configuration management. And then finally, there's a section on test tools. What tools are available? And how do we go around selecting and deploying the tool will give us some benefit? Okay, so look forward to catching up with you on the training course.